So we're going to go through verifying the startup sequence on the Mr. Heater and Heatstar MHU series compact furnace from 40,000 to 125,000 BTU. First thing we're going to want to verify is that we are in fact getting a 120 volt to our unit. We can see here we have 120 volt. Also a quick test on that is to look at the green light here. If it's blinking, that means we have 120 volt going into the unit and we have our 24 volt transformer, which requires 120 volt input and puts 24 volt output. If that's working, you'll see the steady slow flash. This is normal operation. It's waiting for it to call for heat. As we take and ask this unit to call for heat, we're simply going to use a jumper wire here and we're going to use our R and W. The unit now comes on. We have a air switch that's going to sense that the combustion blower is on. We're going to put vacuum through this line, and then once it, the board receives this, it's going to tell the unit to go ahead and turn on. We're going to hear the ignition, and we're going to hear the gas valve. So we're going to let this unit go through its operation. Then the flames are going to come on. We're going to see this right now is going to a fast flash. It's a normal operation call for heat. We have heat. It's going to continue to spark until the flame sensor tells the board there's heat. It's done that now. Now our unit is going to stay in a flash situation, seeing that everything is good to go. The current signal at the flame terminal is operational. The unit is now going to continue to operate until there is a non-call for heat or it's hit the desired temperature. We're going to go ahead and see the blower turn on over here. And now everything is in a complete operational mode. Once again, we have our fast flash. We have our blower fan on, combustion fan. Everything is working properly in this situation we have an operating heater. We're going to disconnect the thermostat now, let the unit go through its cool down cycle back here, and then we're going to troubleshoot some of the appliances and devices of this heater. So our first uh, troubleshooting guide is going to be the two flash code, which typically means that the system is locked out, it failed to detect or sustain a flame. So we're going to go ahead and start the unit again um, with our jumper, have it call for action. Once again, we can see now it went from a slow flash to a fast flash. Um, to recreate the scenario, I simply turned the gas off so the valve will not allow any gas to come through to start. The unit will go through the cycling process. You'll hear the ignition, you'll hear the gas valve but we won't get flame so it's going to stop and it'll do that cycle three times before it times out and we'll get the two flash code but for now we're going to let it do it gas valve opened we're hearing the spark it didn't start so it's gonna take a few seconds it's gonna recycle again Gonna come back over here we're gonna get spark again but because we have no flame our sensor is not going to signal signal back to the board to tell it to continue to leave the gas valve open you watch our led light it's still fast flashing which is basically normal operation calling for heat we're now on our second attempt to start once again we have no gas coming to the valve the unit's not going to start Time's out. We'll have one more time. Now we're on our third attempt. Once 
once again. We're not giving it any gas, it will not start. And now it's gonna air out and go in a default mode. And you're gonna see the LED light is now blinking two fast flashes. Combustion motors off. If you come and you find your unit in this condition, you're gonna be looking for a fail to detect a flame. What is the reason it didn't detect a flame? In this situation, it's got no gas. So the gas valve didn't open. So in this scenario, we're going to be looking at a three flash code. So let's say you come to your heater and you, it's not operational, you pull the bottom cover off and you're seeing a, fl a three flash code. Um, one of the things that we're gonna look at here is going to be that our pressure switch failure. Um, this could be, you know, from a clogged hose or down here we have this little port. This port could be clogged. Um, you can run a drill bit through there, but we're gonna go ahead and start the unit. We're going to leave this disconnected so it simulates either a clogged or defective air switch. Now the same scenario, we're getting a fast See, we got a three code here. We have this disconnected, so we're gonna see that. So at this point, we're gonna check our hose, we're gonna check our port, and possibly our air switch is gonna be bad or defective. We put our air hose back on. We see when we get the five flashes, the vacuum switch is open. So we're gonna disconnect that again. We have a three flash code. So this is actually pretty simple. Um, three flash code, check your port, check your hose, check your switch. Put the hose back on. Now we're into the fast flash. It's gonna call for heat. The gas is on. It's going to go ahead, cycle through, and start up. And disconnect it. Now we're in a slow flash here, which is basically saying it's ready for us to go ahead and start again. Next, we're going to simulate a high limit switch error or a four flash coat. I'm going to go ahead and let the unit go through the sequence. You can see from the green flashing LED, it's blinking fast, which means it's going to call for heat. We're going to have the ignition start. We're going to have the gas valve open. We're going to have flames come on. And then we're going to simulate a high heat situation with the high limit switch rollout switch. Once again, this is our high limit back in here. And our rollout switch is going to be over here. This rollout switch can be reset. So the unit's on now, it's running, it's in a normal sequence. We're going to overheat the switch. See it shut everything off. It automatically turns the blower fan on to cool the unit down, and it will stay in this default until the high limit switch rollout switch is reset. Um, typically, this situation, you're going to turn the power off, go back in there, hit the reset on it, and then restart the unit. It should run. We're going to go ahead and turn the power off on the unit. I'm going to reach back in here where the rollout switch is. You can see through there. Hit the little, you'll hear it click. Heard that small click. That means it's reset. Now the unit will go back into its normal operating mode. You're going to see the slow flashes. We're going to hook back up our igniter and the sequence could start again. 
So once again, if you come in and you have a four flash code, you either have your high limit switch here or the rollout switch here are giving you a failure with those two items. These items, and I'm gonna say this carefully so it's worded right, these items can be jumpered out at any time for testing purposes only to find out if you have a bad high limit switch or if you have a bad rollover switch. So simply with the jumper wire, connect the two together and you can find out which switch is bad, order that and replace it. If you were to look at on top here, we've got the air pressure switch, the rollout switch, the high limit switch, a combination if you didn't know if you wanted to order them all because you want to make sure you got heat you're still only took and talking you know 35 dollars um, to rebuild this a new board you know the switches you're at about a hundred dollars transformer if you need that you know you're still in that area about a hundred dollars rebuilds all these components